global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. Happy new month to you all. We pray that good tidings follow you all through this month. Still on the issue of River State, but the unique thing about this particular news is that Ikenga have decided to draw the attention, not just of Nigerians to this particular constitution of Nigeria, Nigerian constitution, but also to the judges on the level of their uh, mistake in their judgment. We're going to find out what it is he said. And that is standing very strongly on the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Let's dive into the news. But before we do that, kindly subscribe to our channel. He asked a simple question. He said, have you read this section of the Nigerian constitution? He now talked about C, the public revenue. He said 162, which is the distributable pool account. He said subsection 3 of it. He said any amount standing to the credit of the federation account shall be distributed among the federal and the state government and the local government councils in each state in such terms and in such manner as may be prescribed by the National Assembly. Subsection 4 of it. He said any amount standing to the, to the credit of the state and the federation the federation account shall be distributed among the state on such terms and in such manner as may be described or prescribed by the National Assembly. It said 116, the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria updated with the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth alterations. It said subsection 5 of it, said the amount standing to the credit of the local government councils in the Federation account shall also be allocated to the state for the benefit of their, lo of their local government councils on such terms and in such manner as they may be prescribed by the National Assembly. He said, subsection 6 of it, he said, each state shall maintain a special account to be called the state joint local government account, into which shall be paid all allocations to the local to the local government councils of the state from the federation account and from the government of that state. Sub, sub 7, said, each state shall pay to local government councils in its areas of jurisdiction such proportion of its of its total revenue on such terms and in such manner as may be prescribed by the National Assembly. Sub 8, he said the amount standing to the credit of the local government council of a state shall be distributed among the local government council of that state in such terms and in such manner as may be prescribed by the House of Assembly. Now, this the remaining part is the most interesting and which the judges should look into. He now continued, he said, 9, any amount standing to the credit credit of the judiciary in the federation account shall be paid directly to the national judiciary national judiciary council for disbursement to the heads of court established for the federation and the state under section 6 of the constitution now the above is a clear evidence of financial sovereignty for each of the federating units which is the states and why it's a treasonable act to attempt to seize revenue of any of the federating units upon this provision the supreme court declared that nobody has powers to seize the revenue of any arm of government in the case between tunable led legal state then and federal government so how can a judge give order for seizure of river state revenue share from the federation not budget share the issue of the state's budget is a state internal issue which has nothing to do with the constitutional process of sharing of revenue which demands direct independent transfer of the revenue share of each state directly to them as a federating unit. You can't issue an order to stop an automatic constitutional process that is the symbol of federal system of government. Is it not when they share the revenue that you can talk of each state funding their budget or having the hope to have funds to plan? Now, non-implementation of budget and consequences of such fails such falls on the take that again non-implementation of budget and consequences of such falls under the matters that the state assembly can legislate or take action against all four so let the issue of the legitimacy of the sacked pro wiki lawmakers be resolved first the order violates the constitution and must be set aside to avoid anarchy this is coming from honorable ikenga imo ugochinyan always going about i noticed that after a while he was a bit quiet 
And don't forget he's a lawmaker, he's also a lawyer. He has gone and started looking at the constitution. There has to be a place where such is being protected. My colleague is in the house. I just hope that at this point, uh, the judges had actually looked at the, the because they are interpreting. They, should, they, they have looked at the pros and cons of constitution so that they don't negate the Nigerian constitution, which is above all. What's your take on what it, uh, on the weekend I just exposed? I, I just feel that maybe the judge said did not see this part of the constitution. Well, uh, the, the judges are the ones that are charged with the or judiciary are the ones charged with the responsibility of interpreting the law. Now, don't forget that these guys they have a way around it. Now that Ogochinye has leaked this out, the next thing you see them do, they will go and look for exception because, unfortunately, yeah, there are loopholes in the law. So you see them, they will go around they and stand on one point. And start emphasizing it. You know, that's why from day one, one of the most important issue of concern or one of the key characteristics of a judge is non-partisan when it comes to politics. You're meant to be impartial, non-partisan, and you must not be frolicking with the politicians. If you must be able to dispense law very well. They cover the eyes, which me if you see this the, the symbol of of judiciary. Uh, judiciary, you notice that the, the eyes, eyes yeah. In other words, I don't know who is uh, this on my left or on my right, but I'm going to do things in sync with the law. But unfortunately, today, just like Borajjo had once said, that these guys are now in the pay package of the this thing that they, they, they have been enlisted among those staffs to be paid by these hungry and dubious politicians so in as much as they are paying you whoever that pays the 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 the, 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 the man who blows the flute he takes the tune and that's exactly what is happening now so as, as long as i've paid you somehow you know how to find a way, way around it and give me what i want now looking at the some of the provisions that this guy has enlisted. It therefore means the backlog, in in event of anything happening and in future, they have to create, uh, there's a balance. The river state will not be able to get back the backlog of everything. You understand? Because uh, according to the rules, it must be empty. So which already clearly shows that this guy has breached it. So I, I don't know why this is happening, but however, uh, let's wait and move into the future and see what they will do because these are some of the uh, provisions in the Constitution that the legal luminaries of real state government, similarly for Bala, also must look into and use that as a defense. And let's also see the position of the law and that they shouldn't forget that this will form the jurisprudence in future. This is one of the reference points. This is one of the philosophy of law that will be used in future. Let it not be when it comes to that time, they will begin to wonder, who was this person that uh, propounded this kind of jurisprudence? Who was the person who interpreted the law like this? Because I know that a time will come that all of this bahaha will finish, you understand? And then people will look back and say, who were the people behind this? I wonder how those judges will feel that on that time. Uh, that's if they really care. That's going. That's we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our conversation. Also, take. Uh, I guess this is getting interesting. Let's see how uh, the Pro group and of course.